Hey, what's going on? Let's do a quick recap of the items added and highlight some of the cool ones. Okay, first, uh, Celestial and Luck. That is the seasonal event for St. Patrick's Day. I guess they did St. Patrick's Day and Easter at the same time because they're doing lake and stuff later in the month, so they wanted to get this out of the way uh, just to do it. So if you talk to this guy, go to prizes, he has a brand new set, uh, the Noble Leprechaun armor and the helmets to go with it. So you got Lord and Lady there. Uh, I think there's also this staff right here is new. Not 100% on that, but I think so. So you can get those for golden tickets. If you want to double your golden ticket earn rate, uh, you can pay to win Kappa Kappa with the lucky hat right here for 150 ACs. I forgot about it. I think, I'm pretty sure I owned this item before, but I forgot about it. Uh, and you don't have to equip it or anything. You see it in your inventory. Uh, and then you can sell it back after you're done, I'm pretty sure. So just buy that, sell it back when you're done get all your golden tickets you need also added to the shamrock fair is a new mini game or a reskin of an old mini game kind of with new prizes so if you go here you can smack a makai uh there's a special merch shop just for this area with a blade dual legion fans which i have not got yet let me buy those i can show you the animation on them uh because they do have an attack animation i'm pretty sure the monk flame is very expensive too bad there isn't a cape version that looks like it would make a pretty good cape maybe they'll add that in the future since they already made it uh and then two armors here this armor was available for free when the event first came out because they accidentally added it in for free but it's gone now see so yeah. uh you can also buy those in the shop if you go to feature gear shop they added those there if you don't want to farm for them for whatever reason i recommend farming for them it's not too hard a thousand acs a piece uh, they also added a golden leprechaun, which is only available for ACs, along with the hats for it also. So that's pretty cool in the Future Gear Shop. There are Shamrock fans in the Future Gear Shop that have a pretty cool attack animation on them. Uh, they're the counterparts to the Legion ones. So I'll show you the Legion animation also. So you can see that they open when you fight and a pretty cool pattern on the inside of them right there. So that's pretty nice. And the Legion one, here are the animations for the Legion ones. Looks really sick. It's got like the uh, dage on the inside of those really nice looking pattern on the inside of those fans also so yeah uh, two different ones and you can get the shamrock ones in the future gear shop okay last but certainly not least the grenwag boss right here uh slash join the name of the boss uh to get here uh it's just like a two room little boss fight for uh easter every year and it drops the whole set i'm wearing it's non-member ac tag the armor the helmet and a bunch of weapons. I'll show you every item that the boss drops right now. Okay, so you got the one armor, of course, and two helmets, uh, male and female, although I think the male one works for female, the female one just has longer hair. Uh, here's what the armor looks like without it, without a helmet on. Uh, the nose is a little different. It's kind of like a bunny nose sort of thing, which is pretty cool. I like that. It's themed for the armor. Uh, there's a bunch of weapons. We have this sword, uh, which when equipped, It'll do that, but if you click on it, it'll go back into a sword. I'm not sure if that's server side or client side. I'm not really too sure. But if it's closed all the time like that, that'll look kind of weird for other players if you care about that. Uh, we got a bow and arrow. Uh, it's kind of rare that we get bows added to the game, so pretty cool. And the arrow is a carrot. Nice little touch. Just a bow by itself. No arrow. I think this one would be used more than the carrot one, but still very nice to have the option. If you want just the arrow by itself, that's also an option. Now these are really cool. Uh, the daggers, they have a blue animation on them. Uh, also, the bunny gets angry with the animation. I'm not sure how long the animation lasts, uh, but there I, maybe it's an attack animation? I'm not too sure, but the, anim the face does change on the bunny every now and then. It's pretty cool, so. Being a bunny archer, you would definitely need a carrot quiver. Pretty, pretty cool looking. Uh, that's what it looks like on the character. Not bad. Uh, it's one of the better quivers I've seen in the game. Usually they make them a little too small or too big. This is like the perfect size for a quiver. Also, we have two more capes. This one. It's kind of like punching gloves. I don't know what these are supposed to be. And then you got that one. Pretty cool looking. Very stylized. I love it. It fits the set perfectly. So that is everything that was added that I know of to this event. If I missed anything, leave that down in the comment section. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Like it if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.